Queen will have a quiet word with Meghan about how to avoid PR blunders when the Duchess celebrates her birthday at Balmoral this summer, royal expert claims. A royal expert has claimed that the Queen will take Meghan under her wing for a quiet word when she celebrates her 38th birthday at Balmoral Castle on 4 August. The Duchess of Sussex is thought to be celebrating her special day there, and according to reports the monarch will advise her on how to navigate the tricky world of PR. The Queen, 93, along with the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall, is said to be particularly fond of Meghan, who recently welcomed Archie with Prince Harry, and is keen for her to avoid any further PR blunders. The trip would be Meghan and Archie's first trip to the Scottish castle and the invite from the monarch is said to be a great honor. Speaking to The Sun, royal expert Phil Dampier said, this might be a good opportunity to have, not an assessment of her, but a quiet chat away from the madding crowds as to how she thinks it is going. I think in quiet moments and quiet walks up by the river the Queen might have a few words of advice for her. I'm sure there must be things where she perhaps thinks things could be done better so I'm sure she would give her some advice, especially if she asks for it. The expert added that Charles, Camilla and the Queen are very fond of Meghan, and find her engaging and intelligent. This follows reports that the Queen is keen to give Meghan a thoughtful present, and that the catering team will bake a cake to mark the special occasion with the monarch's great-grandson present. The Queen, and since they wed, Prince Philip, has spent every summer at Balmoral Castle since her childhood, and it is said to be her favorite home. The monarch's reported plans to give Meghan a helping hand come after she has been continuously slammed at every turn, most recently for wearing jeans during an appearance at Wimbledon, where her security was seen asking a bystander to stop taking pictures. The former Suits star also appeared to take much of the public blame for what was reportedly Harry's wish to keep details around Archie's christening and godparents, private. The couple also came under fire for revamping Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, gifted to them by the Queen. Last year the Duchess appeared to have shouldered the blame for reported rift rumours between the Sussexes and the Cambridges, though further reports later emerged that the disagreement was more likely to have been between Prince William and Harry. And despite Meghan's continued efforts to undertake charity work, even her move to include touching messages and care packages delivered to sex workers were slammed. However the Duchess has taken what some people have branded a hate campaign in good grace and reportedly remains in good favor with those that matter, the Queen and the senior members of the royal family.